Hi everyone, this is Lauren and I'm here to show you how to make a stuffed bunny out of a sock. So first you need a sock, three small pipe cleaners, one pink bead, two rubber bands, two googly eyes, one small piece of white felt, one ribbon, some glue, stuffing, and some scissors. So we're going to start out by stuffing our bunny and I sped this up since it took me a little bit, but you can kind of finagle it and shape it how you want it to be and fill it as full as you want it to be or as not full as you want it to be. And then you can section off the head by using a rubber band. Sorry, I got off camera here. But then you use the second rubber band to do the top of the head. And we're gonna go ahead and glue on the eyes now. You could do this with markers if you don't have any Google googly eyes laying around at home. And you could also be using hot glue if you don't have tacky glue. I just went with the easier, quicker option, but hot glue is nice because it dries really quickly so you don't have to worry about your pieces falling off as you put on the other pieces. So here I am trying to make sure my eyes are lined up properly so I don't have a wonky bunny. And now I'm gonna put on my nose and my whiskers. So I put my three pieces of pipe cleaners together and then I just went ahead and twisted them a couple of times so they stay together and don't just fall right out of the bead. But now I'm going to glue the bead as the nose onto the bunny's face. So once again, I have to figure out how to line it up right with those eyes and with where the ears are going to be. And then I'm going to bend my little whiskers so they kind of go along with the face. Next, I'm going to cut my little square of felt in almost in half. I'm going to cut just a little strip up there. And these are going to be the bunny's little buck teeth. And so I'm going to glue this right underneath the nose, but I'm going to tuck it up underneath the nose so you can't see too much space in between there and the teeth. And now it's time to cut the ears. So cut down that part, that center part, and then we're going to shape the ears to be more rounded at the top. So I sped it up here because you can't see it, but you can see the second ear. So I'm going to start at the top corner and round it out as I go down. So then they look a little bit more like bunny ears. And then I'm going to tie a ribbon around his neck so you can't see that rubber band so well. And I'm gonna tie it in a bow. It took me a little bit to get that bow just right, so I had to try again. And then once I got it tied, I went ahead and took a look at it and cut those ends to be even with each other and to have a fun little diagonal shape. So here is the finished product. Here's my bunny and then his ears, you can kind of move them around. They're a little floppy, but you can shape them how you want them to be. So thanks for joining and I hope you have a lot of fun with this one.